guys, I'm Caroline Wright. And I'm Alejandra Ramos. And today we're making apple peanut butter muffins. That sounds so good. It's so great, it uses peanut butter in a couple of different ways. It's really lovely. So I'm we're excited. actually gonna start off by making a streusel together. How does Ooh, that sound? That sounds fantastic. Awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a little bit of flour if you wanna help me dump that in. Okay, it's right here. And we have a little bit of brown sugar too. And we use a nice big dose of the cinnamon raisin swirl. I love that. Super important. So peanut butter in streusel, I've never seen that before, but it's genius. It's cool, you know? Yeah. It's it's not too foreign of an idea, sort of like a peanut butter cookie, yeah. kind of like that. That looks really good. And it's super delicious with this muffin. So like for a breakfast, a morning thing, cinnamon raisin. I love that you're adding it right into the streusel. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's so a peanut butter streusel. That's you know, awesome. We're, we're doing it up. Yeah. So we're also gonna add just a little bit of butter. Okay. And a little bit of extra cinnamon. Nice. Really so good. just to get it going, cause you know, we've got this sticky peanut butter here. I just like to, to coat it a little bit before I, I get our hands dirty. Yeah, I love that. That's my favorite thing about cooking. So it's kind of like a, a little bit the same idea of making like a peanut butter cookie or something. Yeah. Right? You know, you're kind of. And we're just bringing this together. Pretty simple. Um, and it's okay. In the end, we have some softened butter and it's going to be nice and we're going to get little claws here. But <laughs> you know what? It's Good. better to eat them with. This. Yes. <laughs> So now that I have claws for hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always think things come out better when you kind of just work them with your hands. Absolutely. And so you connect with your food. Agreed. This eventually just becomes a little bit sandy, mm -hmm. a little bit um, sort of clumpy. So that's what we're looking for. A little bit messy, get our hands dirty the way I like it. <laughs> I like it. So now we're gonna start on the muffin batter. Okay. If you could just throw the flour here, we'll, we'll mix ah, the dry we'll ingredients first. together first. Okay, so get our flour. Yep. And is this some baking powder? Yep. And okay. some baking soda too. And baking soda. And There's some more cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay. We're just gonna whisk this together. Is that good? Perfect, yeah, Perfect. absolutely. All right. Um, so then we're actually gonna mix the, the wet ingredients in a different bowl Sweet. and then just add them. Is this applesauce? It's applesauce, it's unsweetened applesauce. Awesome. You know, I think it's a little bit easier since we're making a couple different components. Mm -hmm. I just. I didn't feel like getting out a fresh apple, just having something that you have on hand. Is this some butter? melted butter? Just oh, sure, perfect. Right. And I'll crack these eggs. Do you want me to add this brown sugar? Sure. All right. Here we go. I like this combination of flavors we've got going on here. You know, it's, it's nice and warm, kind of fallish. It's exactly what I want to be eating on the weekends. Oh, yeah. And you know, it's perfect because it's really, talk about a make-ahead breakfast. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have friends over, plan ahead, maybe even freeze them. Yeah, I feel like these would also be good for, like, breakfast, on-the-go breakfast. So Absolutely. Get, like, a dozen done and then grab them in the morning. Yeah. We can actually go ahead and add them to the dry ingredients. Okay. Put that all in there. So it's just going to be just until moist, you know? That's, and then it smells amazing. That cinnamon from the peanut butter is coming through. It's really nice. Really comes through. So just because I like to keep it simple, I use just sort of a, a heaping quarter cup measure. I like your style. There we go. And actually, maybe I'll let you switch to this okay. and I'll chase you with the oh. extra secret ingredient, oh. which is even more peanut butter. Okay. And then we're gonna end up pushing these down with our fingers. Mm -hmm. If we just dip our fingers a little bit in this oil okay. and, and push the peanut butter down. Oh, that's smart. That helps to, to bury it a little bit. Okay. Nice. And then we're just gonna top these really generously with this streusel topping. Oh, cool. And I like to keep a pan underneath um, just in case and he falls off, it protects the bottom of your oven. So we're just gonna finish these off in the oven and then they're ready to eat. Sounds good to me. So here we have our cooled muffins. They were in the oven for about 20 minutes. They look and smell amazing. Awesome, so uh, they're ready to dig in. There you have it, apple peanut butter muffins. So let's give one a try. Excited. So slice this baby in half. Check out our peanut butter filling. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh. That's so good. Mmm. Mmm. That's really, really good. 
Thanks for watching. We hope you try this recipe and give it a like. And every week we cook up a new peanut buttery recipe, so subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a single one. We love hearing from you guys, so ask us questions or tell us about your favorite ways you like to eat peanut butter in the comments section below. And see you next time. Does that one need it? Or did oh. you already bury oh. it? Oh, no. No. <laughs> I forgot. It's like, where's the buried oh, secret? No. <laughs> it's, it's a very buried treasure. <laughs> That's what's happening. There we go.